Hey everybody, it's Jeff Cole and I want to share a video from our leadership series that shows how easily we can be misled with data. I hope you enjoy it. Our journey starts with a very real phenomenon. Supervisors, managers, and leaders look at a lot of data every day, but they're being pulled in all directions. Their time is valuable and they are stretched thin. Also, today it's very easy to capture and report data at a volume and speed faster than humans can absorb. We have to find a way to focus. And that leads to people color coding their results. Green if the metric is OK, yellow if we're close, and red if we're off target. This is pretty logical and it would certainly let you blast through reams of data and focus on what is going wrong. This is called management by exception and it's a pretty typical practice. Couple this with some advice from Dr. W. Edwards Deming. This guy hands down was one of the world's most well-respected quality gurus who was fond of saying averages are evil. Why did he say this? Because averages mask patterns in the data that are vital for leaders to know. And if you're blasting through tons of metrics at 200 miles an hour managing by exception and you happen to run your business by looking at averages, you need to see this. Here's a typical company with two divisions and we're reviewing their average performance on a metric for the past month. The goal is 50 and higher is better. Both come in at target and we have dozens of other measures to look at so we give these guys both a green light and we move on. After all, fires are burning elsewhere that need our attention, right? Not so fast. What if I told you that one of these is exactly what you think it is, and the other is like a rickety truck full of dynamite screaming out of control bad? Can you tell me which one? No, you can't because we're looking at averages. And savvy leaders know that averages mask patterns. And they know to ask key questions, such as, do these divisions have the same variation? Well, one glance at the graph shows us that no, they do not. Division A is what you think of when you hear the word average. Most of its output was on target and it varies from target by very little. Division B, on the other hand, is all over the place. It has a very wide spread and just coincidentally has an average at 50. In fact, Division B has a spread that is four times that of Division A. But we're not done yet. Averages also mask temporal patterns. A trained leader will also ask if these guys perform the same over the time period study. Again, a quick glance at the chart shows us that they do not. Division A is very predictable, chugging along at target, give or take just a little. Division B, however, started off like gangbusters, remember higher is better, but they immediately went into a death spiral from which they did not recover. So the bottom line is that their averages look exactly the same. And Deming was right, they can be dangerous. As it turns out, Division A is a true green light, while Division B is a ticking time bomb that needs immediate attention. Granted, we're oversimplifying here, but you get the picture. And we're really just getting started. This series is going to show you a variety of scenarios and provide you with leadership best practices on what questions to ask and how to avoid being burnt by bad data. So I hope you liked that video, but what can you take away from this and do today? Well, number one, be aware that this phenomenon is very real and it's happening every day in companies around the world. Number two, Methods like Lean and Six Sigma encourage us to use visuals so we can see the status and performance at a glance. If you already have the raw data, it's often only a couple of extra clicks to get histograms, scatter plots, dot plots, or run charts that pull the curtains back and let you see behind the averages. Now, granted, moving from a spreadsheet to a visual culture can be very disruptive, but you can always ask questions. Important ones include asking about the spread of the data and also performance over time. So I hope you found this useful. If so, please give it a share below and spread the word. You can also read more at articlesbyjeffcole.com and be sure to check out the other resources below this video. Thanks again for watching.